I discovered two brand new tools that are going to change the way that you find keywords for your Amazon listings and PPC campaigns. These powerful tools are not only incredibly accurate, but they're also lightning fast. Today, I wanna to share with you step-by-step -step how I use Sellerize's Keyword Hunter Pro and Keyword Reranker Pro to find these keywords to optimize my Amazon listings and PPC campaigns. In order to access the Keyword Hunter Pro, simply log into Sellerize, go to the keyword menu on the left-hand side here, and then select Keyword Hunter. And it's gonna take you to the main page of Keyword Hunter Pro. Now for this example and scenario today, let's take that golf towel that I've been selling for years and let's go ahead into find the trending keywords that I can use to optimize on my listing and to also use those keywords to create an efficient and high converting Amazon PPC campaign. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the search keyword here and we want to type in the main keyword or keyword phrase that resembles our product. So the one that represents my product most would be golf towel simply. Sellerize does a good job of providing suggested keywords that you can search, but let's just go with golf towel here and you can add up to 10 if you want to. Click search and in less than one second, we've already generated all of these reports and data sets here as well as almost 1200 keywords as we can see here. So let's run through the setup here, what we're looking at, and then we'll finally get into how I will be selecting these keywords for my listing and my Amazon PPC campaign. So we can see our keyword here, golf towel, and then we have semantic core. So this is the number of high converting keywords that Sellerize was able to identify based on our initial keyword of golf towel. Top related products are the amount of products that are ranking in the top three positions using this specific search term. Average market availability, which we'll get into here in a little bit. Uh, this is a very interesting metric that Sellerize provides us. This means that 72.41% of sales for this specific keyword were generated for products that were outside of the top three positions AKA the top listings for this keyword phrase here. So the higher that this percentage is, the better for us if we're not one of the top three sellers. And then we have on the right hand side here, history data. We have three years of data, which is exceptional. Scrolling down here, we have our top brands for this keyword phrase, as well as top categories. You will notice a check mark next to some brand names in some categories. This is what Sellerize references as the active top. Now the active top here means that this brand has ranked in the top three positions in the last 30 days. The same goes for the categories. Now that's some useful data there. And before we get to the actual set of keywords, we also have a performance history for this keyword or keyword phrase over time. Now remember we have three years of data to look at from November, 2020, the whole way up until the end of 2023, as of this moment in time. And you can see a lot of different metrics for each one of these months, such as the average search rank, the total sales, the top one sales, top two sales. So there's just so much data packed into Sellerize at your disposal that you can use to make decisions on maybe when you should be stocking your inventory or when you expect sales to increase based on this keyword history. Okay, moving down to the semantic core, and this is where a lot of the real fun starts here. So this is all of our keywords. It's actually 1,195 keywords that were generated from this initial keyword. So we can use these keywords to add to our listing and to our Amazon pay-per-click campaigns. On the left-hand side here, we have the keyword column. This is the actual keyword or keyword phrase. As you can see, we have two buttons here. If we want to explore this specific keyword uh, and investigate it a little bit more, we can click the Sellerize icon to open another window with Keyword Hunter Pro specifically for that keyword. The second button is to open it up on Amazon. We can select that and we can see what listings are ranking or uh, who is advertising and targeting those keywords that we just selected. The second column here is our search rank. This is not to be confused with search volume, which I know many of you are accustomed to. Search rank is very similar to BSR, your best sellers rank. The lower that this number is, means that it's ranking higher for that category. So we're looking for a lower number here instead of a high search volume, which you may be accustomed to. More to come on that. Third column, we have clicks. That's self-explanatory, how many organic clicks came from this keyword phrase by a potential customer. Then we have sales, conversion, which is something we're going to look into more here in a second. Conversion, this is the amount of sales that were generated from that keyword phrase through organic sales. I say organic sales because this does not take into consideration advertising sales. This is simply a customer typing it in the search bar, this keyword phrase, and making a purchase based on that search. 
All right, scrolling over to the right here, I'm just going to look at uh, two more here. One is relevance. So this is the uh, relevance or how relevant a keyword is to that initial one or initial keywords that we typed in. Obviously, golf towel, that's what we typed in. That should have a 100% relevance score. And the last one to we'll take a look at here is market availability, which is very important. We discussed this previously on the percentage of sales that were generated by this search term outside of the top three uh, product listings. So this is very important to understand because we want a higher percentage. All right, so how do I select keywords? I have a list of almost 1,200 keywords. You know, that sounds nearly impossible to just take an entire day and to find maybe 20 or 25 keywords. That is why Sellerize created their filter settings here, which is a new feature. If you select this, you'll be met with every single column that we just took a look at and some more that we can filter down the data based on minimums and maximums. And we can also include or exclude different phrases. Now, what I'm about to share with you is just based on my experience, how I filter down this set of 1,195 keywords and how you can do the same. Now, the first thing I'll initially do is I want keyword phrases that have a high sales history. I want this to be 250 at the minimum. Next, I'll move down to the bottom right-hand corner, the opposite corner, for conversion percentage. I want this to be 15% or higher, meaning if someone were to type in this keyword, there's a 15% chance on average that that search may lead to a possible conversion in sale. Now, why 15%? I say 15% because that's the average conversion rate on Amazon for third-party sellers. That is why I wanna target this at a minimum, and the higher the conversion rate, obviously, the better. So let's go ahead, let's select the apply filters, and we can see that our set just went from 1,195 keywords down to 80. That is much more manageable for a single person like myself and an independent third-party seller. With that being said, it's still 80 keywords, and I want to take just an extra step to go ahead and to uh, filter this down a little bit more so we can get to below 50 keywords, and then I can make my selection. What I always do at this point is I'll scroll down and look at the top 10 uh, keywords here in the semantic core, and I'll look for any that do not really fit or are not relevant to what I'm selling. For example, this disc golf towel does not apply to my golf towel product. Uh, disc golf is an entirely different sport if you're not aware versus you know, the standard and uh, conventional golf. So I'm gonna go up here to the exclude phrase containing, and I'm going to type in disc because I don't want any keywords that include disc golf in my semantic core and my filter data set. The last thing I'll do is I'll go to the market availability. I want something with a high percentage of market availability for these keyword phrases. So I'll type in 80% as my minimum. All right, let's get this a second go around and click apply filters. And now we have a list of 39 keywords. These are enough keywords for us to make a sound decision when uh, selecting these keywords for our listing or our PPC campaigns but it's also a filtered down set where we're not wasting hours and hours and days each and every week looking through keywords that may or may not be top performing. The last thing to do is to go up to the top here, select download report, and then we can open this up as a numbers or an Excel file, which I'll show you here. And this is our filtered set of keywords. At this point, I would go through each one of these 39 keywords and I'd make my selection for about 20 to 25 keywords that I want to use organically in my listing and naturally, as well as ones that I wanna use for my PPC campaign. When making the keyword selection for my listing optimization, I will focus mostly on a low search rank here, as well as a high number of clicks. For PPC campaigns, I'll focus on one other metric. I'll focus on a high conversion rate, as well as a high number of clicks. So the Keyword Hunter Pro is excellent for advanced and rapid keyword research. However, what if we do not have that initial keyword at our disposal or we're unsure of what to actually type in into the Keyword Hunter Pro? That's where Sellerize's Keyword Re-Ranker Pro comes into play, which is ideal for competitor research and opportunity finding. We'll use this reverse ASIN search tool to extract the top performing and trending keywords from our top competitor listings. And then we'll go ahead and we can use that on our listings and throughout our Amazon pay-per-click campaigns. So let's go ahead and let's check that out now. Before we open up the keyword re-ranker tool here on Sellerize, we need an ASIN, at least one, that we can go ahead and we can paste into there so we can extract all those top performing keywords from that top performing listing. Now I'm picking up right where I left off previously in the Keyword Hunter Pro, and I want you to select top related products. This will provide us a set of top related products to that initial keyword term of golf towel. 
what I would do to find the one that's performing, at least in my opinion, the, the, the best over the past 30 days, I would filter based on the top number of clicks. So 27,904 clicks for this magnetic golf towel. Now, before you go ahead and you open the keyword re-ranker pro, which you can do so by clicking this button, I would recommend opening the listing up on Amazon and making sure that that is the same or nearly identical product that you're selling. You do not want to pull keywords from a product listing that has nothing to do with what you're selling. Um, it's just going to lead to a low conversion rate and a low percentage of clicks. So good. This is a very similar golf towel to the one I'm selling. Mine is not magnetic, so we'll just keep that in mind when we get to the re-ranking tool and we can exclude that keyword. All right, so let's go back here and let's select the Sellerize icon to open up the keyword re-ranker pro tool. And just like before, within about a second, we were able to pull up over 206 keywords and an ample amount of data for this specific listing. Now there is another way you can get to this tool. I will show you really quick. Um, you can go to the keywords tab from before, and then you can select keyword re-ranker. All you have to do at that point is to copy and paste the ASIN from the listing we just took a look at and select search. And there we have it, the same exact results. So I'm not gonna spend too much time because what you're looking at is very similar to Keyword Hunter Pro, except that for this, we're looking at all of the data set and keyword history for this specific listing. Now I will focus on a couple here. Um, we know what the semantic core is. This is the number of keywords. And then we also have 82 here. So this is the number of keywords that this listing has ranked in the top three positions for. We also have top competing products here. So over 5,699 top competing products. The keywords opportunity on the right here, this is the amount of keywords that this listing has never ranked in the top three positions for. The higher that this number is for one of the top performing products, that provides us a better opportunity and something to really uh, gain some momentum on. All right, then we still have the same three years of data here, top categories and the words frequency. The same as before, we have our performance history over time. And uh, this scenario, it's a three year span for this specific ASIN. And we can see a lot of different uh, metrics such as the number of organic clicks and the number of organic sales over time. All right, let's go down to the semantic core and our set of 206 keywords. Now this is more manageable than what we did before, but we still want to filter this down in order to extract some of those top performing keywords over the others. What I will do at this point is I'll go to the filter settings and let's start out with a 15% conversion rate again and click apply. Let's see what that reduces our amount down to. So a little bit more than half of the keyboards were uh, removed from this data set. So we're left with 90 keywords. Let's try to get this below 50 now. So taking a look down here again, remember I said about the magnetic feature for this specific ASIN that does not necessarily relate to my product. That is something we want to remove because I do not want to uh, target this specific magnetic keyword because when someone goes to my listing, they see that it's not magnetic, they're going to go to a different listing and that leads to a lower conversion rate for me and a wasted click. So we'll come up here to the exclude phrase containing like we did before. Let's type in magnetic, click enter. And then let's also add that market availability percentage of 80, the same as before. So I'll click apply filters and there we have it. We have 40 keywords. Now this is another list that we can use in addition to the list that we've already generated in order to make a sound decision on what we should be targeting and what we should be using to optimize our listing. So I know what you're thinking. How can I gain access to Sellerize in the vast amount of tools that it offers? Well, it's free to get started since Sellerize generously offers you a free seven day trial and there's no credit card required. When you are ready to sign up, make sure to use the link down below in the description as well as in the comments so you can get 10% off your first 12 months. Check that out and best of luck selling.